This is Steven here with Steven's Comics. Thank you for taking the time to check out this video. Of course, I've got a little haul for you, as always. I'm going to start it out with a Contest of Champions variant for issue number one. This is the U variant, of course. I've shown this book before, but I just keep buying it. I, uh, I have high hopes for White Fox. I saw a lot of uh, support for her from the Korean Avengers Electric Rain series, so I'd like to see what Marvel could do with her. I also really like the art on this cover too. So Then we'll go to a pretty hot artist right now. This is Delato. This is his Secret Wars variant set for comic exposure. Um, I really like the art. Some of it's not his best art for the whole series, but I'm supporting him as an artist right now. And there goes Avalanche. There's issue two. Peter and MJ, of course. I think this is the worst cover out of the set. Really not a fan of how he drew Mary Jane there. Here's issue three. This is a pretty cool cover. Cap and Iron Man, of course. Let's we'll see if this one maybe goes up at all with how Civil War plays out. I doubt it. You can probably find this book for six bucks or so. This is one of my favorites from it. This is issue four. Silver Surfer. Uh, Silver Surfer and Thanos. Sorry, I'm a little tired. Been working a lot. Here's issue five. Wolvie, of course, Old Man Logan. Issue six is Cyclops and Cap. Makes cool reference to Avengers vs. X Men, sorta. And then this is my favorite one. This one is issue 7. It's got a really cool cover with Carnage, Venom, and Anti-Venom. Uh, I think this is probably the coolest Carnage cover I've ever seen. Probably not the coolest Venom cover, but it's up there. I really like it. So. Again, those were Del Otto. He's very hot as of the moment. Here's some books that I just got in through a sale on Facebook. I got this set. Oop. There we go, the cat's moving now. Box. Uh, this is Deadpool Circle Chase number one. Got this set off of a seller on Facebook. Uh, pretty cheap. I paid about $4 an issue. Maybe a little bit less than that, actually. Um, what do I got to say about this? This is the first Deadpool solo stuff. This all came out before the other Deadpool 1 through 4, and then course obviously before the Deadpool ongoing series so that's pretty cool as far as Deadpool goes issue two the story's not bad um, it's nothing like what Deadpool is now but it's a pretty cool story and if you're a Deadpool fan which I am you might enjoy it and issue four some people are asking some pretty high prices for this. I don't know the print run on it, but I've also seen it for pretty cheap, too. So I'd say do some research before you put the money down on this set. Here's a book that I got on a good price as well. I've been really trying to haggle on prices, uh, trying to make my money go as far as I can. This is uh, X-Men 64, first appearance of Sunfire. Uh, he's always been one of my favorite characters. I remember being a kid, my dad reading me Giant Size X-Men, and I just thought how cool it was that he was in there, and then he went and quit, which kind of sucked. Well, more than kind of sucked, it sucked. But this is a really awesome cover. I love this cover, actually. And I don't see this book come up as much as some other X-Men books, so decided to strike on it. Here's some books that I picked up at the shop the other day. This is uh, the latest issue of Descender, number 11. <coughs> Excuse me. I really like uh, Jeff Lemire, his writing, and uh, Nguyen, I think that's how you say it, Dustin Nguyen, his art. There's a lot of uh, B 
beautiful watercolor portraits. It's just it's really great and the story is original and I'd like to see what this could do. It's a it's just really cool. If you haven't been reading Descender, I'd recommend it. You find it online or you, you go out and you buy some books. I think the trades have started coming out for it. This is Magic number one from her limited series. This is sort of like Technically, her first appearance as Magic, Ileana Rasputin, that is. Uh, of course, Ileana's first appearance is considered Giant Size X-Men, and then there's also, they say that New Mutants 14 is the first appearance of Magic, but I just read something, uh, some debate online the other day about how this is it, so saw it at the shop, figured why not pick it up. I had really good prices, a uh, guy just came in, just unloaded a collection to them, I think I was the first person to walk in because I cleaned up on all the books that I thought were good. This is, of course, New Mutants 18, first appearance of the new Warlock. Uh, I've said it before, if New Mutants ever were to come out, which I don't know if they are anymore because of the success of X-Force, but if they ever were to do New Mutants, Warlock could be a cool character, as in like sort of like a Groot or a Rocket Raccoon, something like that. We'll see. I don't have high hopes for it now, though, because of the success of X-Force, so we'll see. This is New Mutants 26. This is, of course, the first full appearance of Legion, who's getting his show on X FX. Um, I really have high hopes for this show. Um, the actors involved seem to really want to get it done, and I hope they do it right. We'll put it that way. And I found it for 5 bucks, or maybe it was even half off, actually, so maybe two fifty. And I've seen that book going for about 20 bucks sometimes, so. This, of course, is Secret Wars number one. Uh, this also was in the collection there. Figured, why not? I didn't have a copy of it. It's probably, I don't know, seven, five, eight, Maybe a little higher if I pressed it. It's got a little bit of a spine roll and a little bit of discoloration. Actually, yeah, it's probably about a 7.5. But I got it cheap, and I didn't have it, so. Here's another book I didn't have. Oops. Cats move in the box again. This is obviously She-Hulk number one. I've seen this in a couple videos a lot lately. So this I think I paid $4 for. So pretty good price. Um, really good price actually. It does have a scratch in it. I thought it was a tear. I don't even know. Yeah, you can see it sort of. Um, I thought it was a tear, but I looked at it. It's just a nice deep scratch. So whatever. Four bucks. Um... But other than that scratch, it's a really good copy, so. And for that, of course, is the first appearance of She-Hulk. This is Uncanny X-Men 129. This is the first appearance of Kitty Pride. This I got for 16 bucks. Uh, really can't beat that price. The corners on it are pretty darn sharp. It's probably an 8.5. Uh, yeah, I can't, I really can't complain about this book. This is one of those books that when you're going through a box of Uncanny X-Men, it's rare that you see this book. You'll, it usually goes 127, 128, 130, just because people know, and I think it's underappreciated as a first appearance goes. And another book, I had just bought this book from the shop, same shop, maybe a month ago, two months ago, maybe three months ago, but... I figured this is an upgraded copy from the one that I had, and it was also a good price. Couldn't pass it up. This, of course, is Secret Wars number eight. First appearance of the alien Venom symbiote thing. Uh, if the Venom movie ever comes out, or if they ever keep going with Spidey as a character, Secret Wars could be a cool thing to lead into a Venom story. So, really interested to see what they're going to do with Venom and Spider-Man and all that. And how he goes with the Marvel Cinem Cinematic Universe and the Sony Cinematic Universe and all that. So, and Last book I'm going to show, this is Fantastic Four, number 48. This, of course, is the first appearance of Silver Surfer and cameo of Galactus. Can't say enough about this book. FF books are down in price right now compared to some other Marvel key books. So you might want to look for this book. Uh, it's just, I think it's essential to any collection. This is a 5.0, and I am damn happy to have that copy, so. 
Really excited when this came in. Love it. Looks great. Uh, show you the back. Why not? The back looks good, I think. You know, I think it looks better than 5.0. Put it that way. I haven't looked at the greater notes. Maybe it's got a loose staple or something, but I'm really happy with it. Presents beautiful. And that's my haul. And I will be sticking to it. Sure. I'll stick with this one. Anyways, thanks for checking out Steven's Comics. I do want to put out that huge video of showing a bunch of different books. I mean, just a huge collection. Because I had picked up the complete run of X-Factor, complete run of X-Force, uh, complete run of X-Men 91 series, uh, just a bunch of stuff. Complete West Coast Avengers. So I wanted to go through all of those collections, but I just haven't found the time. I've been working a lot of hours to try and pay for all these stupid books that I've been buying. And I just keep buying more books. So the next haul I do will probably be a short one, but if I ever find the time, I want to put out a nice long video just detailing all of those books. Anyways, once again, this was Steven's Comics, and have a great day.